the Blecko booth with Sherilyn Watson. And uh, let's see, before we go too far, Blecko is B-L-E-K-K-O. And tell us what it does, Sherilyn. So we're a new search engine we launched about a year ago. And our goal is to help people search without spam or content farms. Oh, nice. And we have a tool that's called a slash tag, which is a way that you can contextually narrow your search by category. Um, I can show you an example if you okay, like. Okay, yeah, that'd be great. This will be audio too, so talk through what you're doing. Okay, so if you want to do a search on a topic like global warming, there's lots of different as um, facets. You can search on politics or economics. Let's say you only want to see science websites. Yeah, there you go. You would use the slash tag, it's forward slash, then it's the keyword, this case is science. Search on that. And this tells the search engine to only search on science websites as opposed to searching the entire web. Um, so that you don't get politics or those types of results. So how does it know what ones are considered science websites? So all of that is um, manually curated. The Oh wow, that's a lot of labor. Yeah, the slash tag is created um, by us, and then we enlist help from people in the community who are experts in the field to come in and help us curate um, each slash tag. Oh, okay, so people can apply to help you? Yeah, you can uh, apply and tell us why you think you're qualified, and then we'll um, accept some people, but some people just are trying to apply for fun and we don't we don't take them. Okay. So um, you, how many slash tags are out there? So we have hundreds of slash tags. Um, I can show you the directory. Sure. So if you go here, click on directory. Oh, wow. We, we have hundreds of slash tags, but we're working on building out more in-depth slash tags in specific topics and in organizing this in a more logical way so you can see all the, you know, history. So maybe in clumps together, together yes. that kind of thing. All okay. the science ones together, all the sports together. This is really interesting. Now, um, what if I wanted my own slash tag? You can create your own. Um, it's easy to do. Go back to the search. You just create your own account and then you click here. It says create a slash tag. And say you want to make a slash tag about, you know, bats or any other topic. And then you can also search for information to add to it. Or you can add your own down here. If you have specific sites you need, you want to add. So she's adding all of the, the better bat websites at the bottom there, right? Yeah, <laughs> so you can put up to like 5,000 or more slash tags there. I mean, um, sites in the slash tag. Wow, that's kind of interesting. Uh, now, what if you wanted to be able to check on stuff frequently? The same thing uh, for updates, that sort of thing. Yeah, um, you can do that just in the, in the search. So I'll go back to my example, global warming. But this time, say you want to see every time it's mentioned on a blog, the most recent ones. So I put slash blogs, slash date to make it order by um, most recent ones, and then slash RSS. And this brings up a chance for you to subscribe to the feed in your reader. Oh, that's cool. And so then you could, you could keep that search. So you could always get the up-to-date information on global warming. Now, in this case, we didn't do a slash science, but you could have mm -hmm. added that as well. Yeah. So you can, the, you can put multiple ones filtering the, da the data. Yeah, it would be um, an intersection, so it would be if I did slash science slash blogs, it would be science blogs. So if I did this, would I keep from getting all those about dot me, uh, those uh, about dot com <laughs> answers? Yes. <laughs> I really want that as a constant filter. I never want to see that. Yeah, we, we actually um, try to remove those in the very beginning before we even, we don't even index them. Um, so, oh, uh, excellent. But then the slash tags help you narrow even more without them. Well, this is really interesting, Sherilyn. I really appreciate you taking the time to talk to us. Oh, well, thank you very much.